Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a course planner and a booking planner for rooms. So in the top left hand corner in cell A1, I'm just going to type some labels, date. Now, I would do this for every sheet, so I would group the sheets and then this would cascade through all the sheets at the same time. But just for speed, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to color this in. So that would say January or if it was February, February and so on and so on. So the labels is going to be as follows. So trainer first, course, and then room. And then how many people are booked on? Spaces, capacity, and... After percentage filled, I'll have delegates and then revenue like so. There's going to be 12 delegates per course. So if I just give myself a one there, two, just highlight those two to get myself 12 spaces. That's 10, that's 12. So basically, this can now be merged and centered and made into one cell. So I'm going up here to do merge and center. And I also want that to be at the top alignment wise and centered. I need to do alignment center and center. So then if I put today's date in that box, it should be in the center. Now it is. Now I need to merge and center these. Merge and center. And then that needs to be the case for all of these all the way across to percentage filled. Like so. And the whole of this I want to be and the line below because I'm going to do some totals. I want to have um, borders set on it. All borders. So I'm going for all borders. That one. So it's nice and neat. So I've got my 12 delegates. Now I don't need these numbers, so I can get rid of them. And what I'm going to do is data validation for these three columns. So if I go, first of all, for trainers, data validation. So basically what I want in there is a list that I'm going to type. So um, list. So I'll just do two people, Steve and Dave. That's going to be my list. So that's Steve and Dave. I'll select Steve. That's in the middle. Course, data validation, list. This is going to be all the courses. Now you could have a, um, a named range here. And that's what I'd normally do, but just for speed, I'll just type this out. Two courses that'll do. Okay to that. So I'll select Excel. And then last data validation list is going to be the rooms. So there's going to be just three rooms. One, two, three. Like so. Click OK. I'll select a room. Room one. And then we've got this book. So in booked, I want it to count how many people are in this delegate list. So if I type Bill and Ben, there's two people. So this needs to count them. So I'm going to use the count A function. So equals count A. Open the bracket. Select the list. So just down to this area. Close the bracket. Click the tick. Now, capacity for this room is 12. So spaces will be whatever capacity is minus the booked column. But also, I don't want capacity to show 12 on the next block down. So if I just pull this down for a second, so I've got two blocks. Just highlight this area. And copy and paste that below so I can show you what I mean. Paste that below. 
and then just get rid of this date and this detail here and that's clocking up the um, the same list get rid of that so I don't have anybody there um, I will copy that formula back I didn't mean to delete the formula copy that back so it's got zero so capacity needs to be looking if that's zero show zero otherwise 12 all right so equals if open the bracket so if that equals zero comma show zero comma otherwise show 12 because that's the capacity and then tick that and that should say 12. now if i copy that formula below where there isn't any dates that should say zero which is what i want it to say zero now spaces is basically going to be equals that minus booked tick that it's 10 spaces copy that down there paste down there now percentage fill is going to be equals booked divided by capacity tick that and it also needs to be formatted to a percent like so i don't want decimal places on it so you've got the option to reduce the decimal places um there percent missed it that one going the wrong way 17 copy and paste that down below now that's going to come up with div 0 so i need to do an error message on this so in front of this after the equals i'm going to put if error open bracket so if that returns an error comma show zero if it does then close the bracket on that and then copy that down again it'll get rid of that div zero which is not really an error like so so if i put a date in there control semicolon it shows the capacity of 12 if i have somebody in there i'll just put ben it gives me the the formula works it out capacity of 12 11 spaces one person so that's working all right now revenue let's say 200 pound per person so we'll just pull them down 200 pound want that making into money same with this one 200 pound in fact the whole column the whole column should be money to be honest like that now at the bottom of each of these revenue columns I want to summarize what's being spent so i need to do the sum function so i'll go sum so it's picking up j16 to 27 which is correct i'll tick that and then i'll copy that one up to the one above paste that it should just pick up 400 and it does now i need to sort of color this up a bit i think so if i just block this complete line off and make it a different color like green or something light green and then the formula bars this bit here i'll just color that in a different color as well it just makes it stand out a little bit better if you pick a different color not the same color go orange um i didn't mean to make that that color and then i'll make this one a different color as well make this one light blue or something oh that color will do actually and then this needs to color up a different color altogether okay um that needs to be a different color just so it doesn't mix up with that now i want to do a count here count a to count these delegates so it's going to be equals count a again and then i'm highlighting that information there and two copying that formula down to the next block so you just repeat these blocks 
So you could basically um, let me copy that again. Copy, paste. You could basically highlight these two blocks now and just copy them down. Now I want to do a bit of analysis at the top, so I'm going to insert a couple of rows. Just highlight two rows, insert rows. What I want up here is the booked. So if I copy booked, put booked over there, and capacity, I'll copy that, paste, and percentage filled, copy that and revenue or copy that as well so this is going to summarize the whole month and then you would do the same thing you do the same thing um, for the year so the sum first we'll do the revenue so this is basically going to be each of these blocks so that one control key down and then that one and then obviously you go all the way down but that should add those two up which it does 401 now booked is the same so it's going to be sum and then just highlighting all the book ticking that one capacity is also going to be sum so capacity is sum like so tick so 24, 24, because this has got a date. If I put that date out, that's only saying 12. So it's relevant to that. So I'll put the date back in and I'll take it out later on so you can see this working. So the formula for this is going to be equals the booked total divided by the capacity total and then formatted to a percent. And then you can do the decimal places if you so wish which I do wish so that's 13% so if I just pull this one down so it's 100% that is 100% and if I pull this down 6 75% is correct in these two these two cases if I delete that it's gone up to 150 because these should not now be filled in because there is no date, there's no details, so now we're back to 100% complete because these have all completed. If I take some of these off again, back to 50% complete. And then you're just blocking that off, putting the grid back on it. And I would probably colour that in as well. I'll do green, yellow even. Okay, so this, this sheet layout would be repeated on every single month, for every month, just 12 sheets and a total sheet. The total sheet would be summarizing this information of all the other ones. So this information is summarizing this. The total sheet would summarize all of this, but you would have to, on the total sheet, you would have to redo this formula because obviously these are just going to be different. You can't use the sum function to add up percentages like that. So on a total sheet, you just leave that blank and then whatever these two figures are, you will then work it out on the total sheet. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully it's of use, how to create a planner, a, book, a room booking planner. Um, hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.